Good day, turn on here. I'm a 12 year experienced fish keeper and part time gardener. Before I begin, I should let everyone know that I am reading off a script and I'm not particularly good at it. And a bit to let it too, so I do fumble a bit, but hopefully it should be fine. The uh, strip, the script will be in the description. Or I forget what to do. <laughs> I, I was gonna say boring, but sure, let's throw up rubbish. Today, I'm going to run you through run you through how I built this fish tank stand for a 750 liter tank, which is around 160 gallons. The tank itself is a is around 183 centimeters by 60 centimeters by 70 centimeters, around six by two by 2.4 foot. The stand finish ended up being uh, 184 centimeters by 100 uh, by 60.5 by 90.5 centimeters. The aim was the aim was 183 centimeters by 60 centimeters by 90 centimeters with no option to undersize. So we did oversize a tad. Where am I at? As we go through the fitnessing and cutting, or fitnessing, cutting, and building, I will be explaining the process and the other stuff. The script will be in the description if you need it. Starting out, we are fitnessing the tree of the pine we have. The pine we got is a 90 by 45. I can't be right. Yeah, no, it was. 95. Yeah, hold on. It's wrong. 95 by 45 mil. 3.7 by 1.7 inches. M M10 H2F internal pine framing. The beams are around 2.7 meters, 8.8 feet after dressing. They ended up being around 91 by 41 millimeters. 3.5 by 1.6 inches. Yeah, how did I get that wrong? We have we have five of those beans. We ended up using different wood because we couldn't get the rest we planned for in time. If you do want to do it right, you'll need 11 of those size pine beans. Um, 2.7 meters. Um, if you want dressed, Already, you'll need 90 by 45 by 90 by 40 mil. I've calculated to be 90 by 40 mil pine, not my pine I use. I've just gathered that most people would go for a standard size. All right. I should say, I should say we got it undressed because it was cheaper, and I was borrowing my friend's thicknesser, which I should which I should say he is the guy helping me in the video, my friend Stephen. He has been doing woodworking as a hobby for, I think, 20, 25 years. So nice to have that guy helping me for the content. For context, he is a sport worker for me uh, due to my social anxiety. So he has, so his job is just to help me do normal people stuff. Me liking woodworking is just a bonus. So now you have the wood beams you need to cut out four pieces sized 183 centimeters out of those four beams the leftovers should be able to be cut into four 82 centimeter beams pieces here you'll need six more 82 pieces so two more beams then you need six pieces size 90 centimeters from two beams then 12 pieces size size 52 out of three beams the total should be 11 beams 2.7 meter pine for that now putting the frame together we ended up using 50 that doesn't seem right 50 14 10 100 millimeter type 17 batten bank batted bundle head internal pets timber screws and the 
and 100 of 75 mil of the same type of screw, timber screw. It's a pretty common screw, it's just one of those heavy duty head screws, easy enough to find. And, and I'm pretty sure just some internal metal screws should be fine. We went with the heavy duty because we're quite used to using those in this sort of stuff. But as long as you have a lot of screws in it, it shouldn't be fine. They hold up like 50, 20 kilograms each, I think, at the small size. I think those ones hold up 50 kilograms. I don't know the real math for that. Um, well, in order to tell what size screws go where, we ended up just using longer, just using the longer ones when we could see they wouldn't poke out, which did happen, uh, happen a lot. Putting the frame together, you'll need two drill bits, one a lot smaller than the screw, and one just big enough where it wouldn't drill out the wood too much so the thread still had wood to grab on to. The drill, the drill holes, the pilot holes, is just to make sure you don't split the wood, because without them, the screws will just push the wood, the wood away, which will, can result in splintering or cracking, such and such. So now you have the main plan. You need to, uh, like now the main plan, you need to put, build two rectangles with, ah, uh, yeah. You need to build two rectangles with all the 183 pieces and four of the 52 pieces. Four, four of the 52 pieces. Then moving on, you need four corners using four corners using eight of the 82 pieces. Then, then with six 90 pieces. Then with the six 90 centimeter pieces, you need to put one on each corner within the rectangle. We did do we did we did the flat side against the long side of the rectangle. I don't believe it matters as long as the 82 pieces are between the rectangles with guides to screw into, we should be fine. No, screw this long. And the last two of the 90 pieces go into the go in go in the middle either side, all of those will be drilled into the bottom rectangle. To be clear, the 90 pieces are one on each corner, four of the corners, one on each four of the corners, and two in the middle, each side. And the rectangle, then using those guides, you screw the four 82 pieces that are corners to the corner guides and the two left over 82 pieces screw onto the middle ones. Light the other one on the ring of the rectangle. Then screw four of the 52 pieces. Yep. Four of the 52 pieces across. Two in the two in the middle and one on each and against the guides. That's the bottom and main support done. Put on the last rectangle on the top if done right. It should rest on the corners and middle of sports and the guide should be near leveled with it. Then light the bottom, screw the last four 52 cross pieces in the same spots but leveled with the top right. And the guides then, uh, and then the guides. The last bits is to put the plywood on top. I screwed mine in, but I don't believe it's needed. I finished mine with outdoor furniture oil stain that's mold and UV res resistant, which is necessary if it's outside undercover and hit by the sun. But other than that, it's easy enough to give it prime and paint or stain or just give it a skirt. That's me done. I uh, hope you all enjoyed it. I um, I do have a Discord for my fish stuff. I don't particularly use it a lot. But if anyone does need uh, to talk to me about how it's done or a bit more detail pictures, I'm always open to be messaged on. 
at spot soul twitter really uh that's that mean there's probably some other stuff that you can find me on on my youtube page but hope you all found this helpful before i clogged off this fish tank stand design i found from the king of diy we tweaked it a bit only sits only by sits little tweets and i think we did change the size a bit so yeah but if you do need the original tank stand design and uh the king doi has a very informational video on how what can export what we went through that almost five times planning out this tank stand this isn't the best tank stand for the size of the tank you're building it'll definitely hold up a lot more than 750 liters comfortably but it is quite fine for the price and how simple it is cheerio